Hi, this is Dr. Nurse Storms, um, having a fun Saturday night, um, thinking about spectroscopy. Um, someone was in my office the other day, and they decided to draw all the landscapes for the various functional groups on my board, and students thought this was extremely helpful, so I thought I would share it with you. Okay, so first of all, all I'm showing you here are just functional groups. I'm not showing any, I, I mean, rather, I'm only showing you the functional group region of the spectrum. That's all I'm showing you. So, this landscape right here is the functional group region of an alkane. I just mean like a normal alkane or a haloalkane. Haloalkanes and alkanes look about the same in the func functional group region. So basically, all you, you'd expect to see from an alkane, for example, that, or a haloalkane like that, the only thing you'd expect to see in this region is sp3 CH stretching. And you'll remember sp3 CH stretching is just below 3,000, and you'd expect to see a lot of absorptions because most organic molecules have a lot of sp3 CHs. Okay, so the landscape is very simple. Again, this is just the functional group region, which means it's going from about 4,000 down to maybe 1,500 or 1,400. Okay, this is just the functional group region of an alcohol, a simple alcohol. For example, something like this. Okay, if you can read that. Something with an, an OH. Not very good handwriting there. Okay, so what would you expect to see for a simple alcohol? You would expect to see a broad peak at around 3,300, but not as broad as we're going to see for a carboxylic acid in a minute. And then you'd expect to see CH stretching. This is SP3, CH stretching just below 3,000. What we're seeing here is the OH stretching vibration and, absor and corresponding absorption. You really wouldn't see anything else in the functional group region. Okay. Down here, I have a standard alkene. Okay, so an alkene would be something like this. Okay, I'm drawing very simple versions of these. What would you expect to see for an alkene? You would expect to see SP2CH stretching just above 3,000. So 3,000 is kind of your barrier. Just below 3,000, you would expect to see SP3CH stretching. Okay? We would also expect to see the stretching vibration of the double bond itself, okay? And that would be at about 1640 or 1660 reciprocal centimeters. Um, it might not be very strong. Sometimes this absorption can be rather weak because sometimes the CC double bond is, does not have a lot of a di much of a dipole moment. Um, this would be the functional group region of an alkyne. And again, you can, go, you can go to the web and look these up on the database and just look compounds up. I told you that's a great thing to do on a Saturday night. But anyway, this um, peak right here is at 3,300. And this peak is an SPCH stretching vibration. Okay, notice SP3, SP2, and the highest one is SP. They're in order of bond strength. And the bond strengths reflect the strength of the inner bond. Okay, but notice this is not the triple bond itself. This is the CH on the triple bond. Okay, what would we expect here? We would always expect, or at least in most organic molecules, SP3CH. It depends on the complexity of the molecule. And then, of course, we should have a CC triple bond stretching vibration at about 2100 or 2200 reciprocal centimeters. Okay, I'm going to draw a couple more. What's my time right now? You're at four minutes. Okay, good, perfect. Okay, so I'm going to draw a couple more groups on my little scheme here. Okay. Um, I mean, obviously, you're not going to memorize the landscape of every single functional group, but um, this does help a little bit. So, what else would we expect? Okay, um, carboxylic acid, okay? So if you have some kind of a carboxylic acid, look at these in your packet, okay? Carboxylic acid, you would expect, again, I'm using 3,000 as my marker here. I would expect to see a really broad peak. It might have a lot of bumps in it. It might be a little bit irregular looking. It might have some spikes coming out of it here and there. 
And then at about 1700, I would, or a little lower, or a little higher, it's not necessarily maybe 1720 or so, I would expect to see a C double bond O stretching vibration. This, what you're seeing here is the OH stretching vibration from the carboxylic acid. You might wonder where the CO bond is. The CO bond is way down in the fingerprint region. So basically, what you're seeing here is kind of a combination. You see this big, broad hump, and there's all these spikes coming out of it. And what you're seeing is the OH stretch. And then over in this region, you'd be seeing any SP3, CH that you have, but it would be overlapping with the OH. So the carboxylic acid is one of the most, um, one of the most obvious um, topographies. It's a very peculiar topography or, or landscape. Um, what other functional groups might you want to see? For example, um, what about a ketone? Okay, a ketone would have, um, you know, something like that. It would be actually quite simple. What you'd expect to see is some peaks just below 3,000. Once again, these would be the SP3CH stretching vibrations. And then further down at about 1,700, it's, you know, again, about 70, 1720 is probably a better number. You would see the carbonyl stretching vibration, okay? Um, other distinctive functional groups, um, one that is distinctive in your packet is the um, acyl halide. I wouldn't spend a lot of time studying acyl halides, but it turns out that in your packet an acyl halide shows up. And I, um, I think I misidentified it on my um, answer key or I put a different isomer. But um, an acyl halide is kind of peculiar in that this acyl halide would have some spikes below 3,000 due to the sp3 ch but acyl halides and and um and hydrides the carbonyl is in kind of a, a unique position in that it's about 1800 so look for that in your packet finally um what i'd like to show you is an aromatic because we've talked a lot about aromatics in class right what do we expect for an aromatic we expect for, you know, kind of a run-of-the-mill aromatic, like this. What would we expect? We would expect to see some peaks above 3,000, maybe not a whole lot. Some peaks below 3,000. These are SP2, CH. What are these due to? These are due to the CH stretching vibrations on the ring itself. Then we would expect to have some SP3 CHs provided the molecule had some component that was saturated, okay? Now, what else do you expect for an aromatic? The other things you expect, remember, are the famous aromatic overtones that kind of run through the region from about 2,000 down to about 1,600 or so. And then you would expect to see a spike or two from the aromatic ring itself. These are the stretching vibrations of the ring, they're the C, C stretching vibrations, and there's usually one right about 1600. There's also one around 1500 usually. That's going a little low for what we've been doing. Okay, so I'm hoping this little um, landscape lesson will help you a little bit with your IR. Okay, I'll see you in class. Bye.